And it looks like we're getting a news blast now, so let's turn it over to Tucker Hope at the Recon Wall. Thank you very much, Brooke. Well, as you already know, uh, around 10 o'clock this morning, meteorologists began saying that this storm could reach as far south as New Orleans, dusting the city with up to an eighth of an inch of snow. That, of course, immediately triggered an emergency response from the entire federal government. This is not going to become another Katrina or BP oil spill like everybody is probably thinking. Uh, President Obama has already ordered over uh, 6,000 relief workers and over 500 vehicles carrying food and medical supplies. We know Louisiana has been through a lot recently, but we're on top of it this time, we swear. And we're just getting word now that those rescue operations have been launched as the temperature in New Orleans has just dipped to 40 degrees. So far, there have been no reported injuries from the possible light snowfall, but over 25 people in the area have reported feeling a bit chilly. Brooke. Thank you, Tucker. You bet. All right, now let's go to Tucker Hope, who has some updates for us on the winter weather battering the nation. Thank you very much, Brooke. We have some more news now on those seven snowmobilers from Ohio. Sadly, they are still not lost in the wilderness due to the storm. And despite the heavy snow and poor visibility, they continue to whip around on their stupid snowmobiles and act like a bunch of jerks. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown met with the families of the snowmobilers earlier today to express his condolences that the group of assholes is still out there living it up and not lying badly injured somewhere we're deep in the woods. Our thoughts and prayers are certainly with them during this time, and we hope that at least one of the snowmobiling dumb shits drives off a cliff soon. And in Chicago, the police have just issued an emergency warning that the so-called snowstorm killer has killed yet again. He's killed over 60 people this winter already, typically preying on the homeless during cold nights. His signature method is to get the victim drunk, brutally freeze them to death, and then dump them in a snowdrift near one of their normal hangouts. So to all of our homeless viewers in Chicago, please stay safe out there tonight. And some new information coming in right now from New Orleans. And as you can see from this weather map, New Orleans is actually receiving some light snow flurries. Rescue workers have begun the preemptive safety measure of rounding up all Ninth Ward residents and locking them inside the Superdome. There they will be held for at least one month to make sure that the snowstorm has dissipated and has no chance of returning. Portable bathrooms should be arriving by next week. Brooke. Thanks, Tiger. The Onion News Network is news without mercy. Friday at 10 on the only channel with the guts to air it, IFC. Always on, slightly off.